Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land, it's Miss Beverly coming back at you today with a, another wig review. Um, if you might remember from seeing my uh, previous couple of videos, I uh, went to my local beauty supply, actually I went to a couple of my local beauty supply stores looking for something different, something new to bring to you guys. Um, and as you guys have probably seen from a majority of my videos, some of them no one's ever done on YouTube, or a lot of them no one's ever done on YouTube. And um, and that's part of the reason why I, I like them, and part of the biggest reason why I started doing videos here on YouTube was because I was searching for some of the wigs I wanted to try, and they weren't on here. So um, I figured surely someone else must be looking for them too. So I certainly hope that these videos are helpful to you guys, um, and I'm grateful for all my subscribers. I just want you to know we have come to 50 subscribers on my channel today. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! So, um, yeah, I said when I got to 50 I would come up with a contest, and I will do that. Um, I do have a lace front wig, a human hair lace front wig that I um, purchased. Um, I've never worn it. I basically just plopped it on my head, saw that uh, I, I wasn't going to get it to work for me, and put it back in the box. And it's set up in the uh, closet ever since. So, huge waste of money. So, I hope that if I have a little contest, maybe one of you guys could use it, and uh, that'll be great. So, anyway, uh, on to the video today. So, Here's what I have for you today. This wig is Lace Mono Pink, it's called. It's from Zori. It's a uh, synthetic wig in a color number F430. And this is one of the wigs, that, it has a mono top. Now let's take this guy out here. Let's see what she looks like. Alrighty. Synthetic hair. I hope it's not going to look like uh, on me like it does on her because that just really looks like a wig slapped on the top of her head. Uh, so, um, let's see here. All right. What do we got? Ooh. Okay. Okay, you guys. Whoops, let's throw her back. Oh, it's a long long wig. Oh, tangles right out of the pack. That's never good. Um, long, long, very, very loose um, curls. She has, uh, here is the mono top. It's just a small, small mono top. It's not a complete mono top. Um, I like the curls though, and the color is smoking. Can you see that, you guys? That is hot. Uh, no combs. Uh, she does have the adjustable straps. Um, I don't really like how the back of this is. I don't like how the back of this one is made at all. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, I prefer when it has that, uh, like, uh, more like this kind of stuff on the back. I don't know. Anyway, let's slap this girl on here. Let me make sure the straps are on good. Okay, let me get my mirror here, you guys. And... Alright. Let me see if I can get the ear tabs situated. Okay. Here, here is the part here. Show you guys the part. Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh oh. Um. This hair color is so different. You guys can see the highlights here. Uh, 
Nice color though, super nice color. Don't really think I'm digging how it lays on the face though. Sadly, I'm not really, because it's, it's not really a layered cut, this is not going to be one of those wigs I can really take my own hair out to blend around the face, you know? Because it's not one of those wigs like the others I have that have more layers so it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I might be able to pull just a skosh out in terms of just right around up at the top. But, uh, see, that's no good at all. Let me kind of brush it out a little bit here. I am a firm believer in you've definitely got to brush these wigs out unless they're just one of the super curly ones. They all need a good brushing when they come out of the pack. I really like, I uh, don't like the rats, let me just tell you that, but uh, I mean, the hair color is really nice. And that's what I really liked about this wig anyway, was the hair color. Besides the mono cap, um, I really like the mono tops, I mean. Uh, uh, I think they just provide a more natural, s okay, now I'm gonna cough a fur ball up here, sorry. Uh, they provide a really, uh, a little more natural look. Um, or most of the time. I mean, this one kind of has a little of the cone action going on. It's a little, uh, the back is a little kind of goofy. Uh, uh, it it kind of just lay, it, it looks like a wig slapped on my head. I really don't like that look. It may not be as noticeable for you guys looking at it on the video, but for me looking at it in the mirror. Ugh. So let me show you the back though. Here's what the back looks like. It's pretty long, you guys. Did you guys see the movement of it? And here's, uh, here's the look of it in the front. I really, um, I wish I could figure out something, you know, but look at this. One good wind blow and check that out. Yay! Hey, I'm wearing a wig. Yeah, you know, no. Hmm. <sighs> I might be able to, I'm trying to think, y'all because honestly I'm gonna have to pull some hair out because that is just never gonna work. Maybe I, if I pull a little hair I can get it to hang a little better in the front. Or I could maybe pin it here or something so I can get some wear out of it. The color is beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna call this a wig nightmare. Really? It's not that bad like some of them I've had. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to be telling you to rush out and buy this one because it's killer either. Mm. The price was right on this wig though. It was like $34.99 or something, which is a really good deal, um, I think. Uh, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really... Um, sorry about that. It doesn't really match my hair color. Um, gosh, that again, because of my camera, you can't really tell. But, but I could probably, you know, it matches enough that I could pull it back like this and you know, maybe do a little twist here in the front, you know, and be able to wear it. Um, which is which is the whole point. I mean, obviously, I didn't buy it because I wanted to throw it up in the cabinet and not wear it. Um, the hair texture is really pretty soft. Definitely can see the ends are going to rat up. But um, what's nice about getting a wig like this that's longer is that you can always snip the ends off a little bit, you know, and have plenty of length left. 
So, I don't know you guys, I'm kind of just like, meh, on this one. Um, here she is, Lace Mono, uh, uh, Lace Mono Pink in the color F430. Um, so, mm, yeah, it's okay, it's just okay. So, uh, stay tuned, because I'm coming right back at you guys with a wig, uh, not a wig haul, but a Avon haul, okay? So for now, rock on. Bye-bye.